This was an uncomfortable place for some women in the Alberta legislature. A woman who used to work there said she was warned not to get on an elevator alone with Kent Hare when he was a member of the provincial legislature. Kristen Rayworth started working there about 10 years ago when she was 26. On Twitter, she alleges that Hare made sexually suggestive comments to her and other women, making them feel unsafe. She tweeted he once said to her, you're yummy. I am unequivocal in uh, my support uh, for women who step forward with, uh, with allegations of this nature. Prime Minister Trudeau was asked about the allegations at his closing press conference at the World Economic Forum. I haven't yet had the opportunity to speak uh, directly with Kent. Uh, I will in the coming hours, uh, and we will have more to say uh, before the plane lifts off tonight. CBC News learned a representative in the PM's office then contacted Rayworth about her tweet. She says the call was respectful and supportive. Just a few hours later, as Trudeau's plane was about to take off, the Prime Minister issued a statement saying he had accepted Hare's resignation from Cabinet pending an investigation. This isn't the first controversy for Hare. Last year, members of a thalidomide survivors group said he made offensive statements to them, including this. Everyone in Canada has a sob story. Lots of people have it bad in Canada. Disabled people, poor people, not just you. And during his time as Veterans Affairs Minister, a retired soldier's wife accused Hare of being insensitive when she asked him for help. And he's like, well, you married him. It's your responsibility. When you put it with the larger Me Too aspect, and especially Patrick Brown going down last night, uh, combined with uh, Trudeau, who has taken a very hard line on these sorts of allegations, it's going to be tough for Kent. Hare says he'll stay on as a Liberal MP. Hannah Thibodeau, CBC News, Ottawa.